overview of the online MAT 131 course. Welcome, I am Scott Horn, the creator and instructor of the online Statistics 1 course. This video will give you an overview of this online course. I will discuss the course layout and the material integration within Blackboard, the required and the supplementary videos, the weekly preparatory assignments, the textbook options, the three proctor tests that you can take on or off campus, what to do if you need additional help, and finally the requirements for the course. All activities in this course are integrated into the Blackboard site. You will see embedded YouTube videos, online MyStatLab homework assignments, links to the online book, apps including active stats, and link to the optional video conference connect sessions. This course is outlined by using weekly tabs. Each week a new tab will open. Everything that you need to do for that given week is fully contained in that weekly tab. All the video content can be viewed directly inside a blackboard and the weekly tabs give a consistent layout of the course material. Each week a new tab will open Friday morning and all activities for that week are due Sunday night at midnight, 10 days later. Each weekly tab includes clear directions on what to do, a preparatory assignment, Embedded instructor created YouTube videos. You are required to watch these videos to complete the preparatory assignment. Embedded supplementary videos in case you need additional examples. Online MyStatLab homework assignments. An online quiz over the previous week's material. And finally, a discussion board topic. Once you are in a weekly tab, you will see clear directions on what to do for that week, what you need to read in the textbook, what videos to watch, what homework assignments to complete, what other assignments to complete, and what happens if these activities are not completed. Instructor created videos. These are the videos that you are required to watch. Once you are in the weekly tab, click on the instructional content folder and you will see the embedded instructor created videos. This is the backbone of the course. This is how you will learn most of the material. The supplementary videos are not required to watch, but they are a good resource if you need additional help or if you need to see additional examples. These videos are from the textbook, from Khan Academy, and from other YouTube videos. Preparatory assignment. Each week you will have a preparatory assignment in Blackboard. These assignments ensure that the required videos have been watched and the problems completed. They are simply guided notes which help engage the three basic learning styles visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. These assignments are completed by filling in the missing blanks with the keywords shown in the videos. You will download and upload the assignments using Blackboard's Assignment Manager. Assignments sent by email are not accepted. Past students have commented on the course evaluations that these assignments help them when they study for the proctor test. This is an example of what the preparatory assignment looks like. You download the preparatory assignment, print it out, and as you watch the videos you fill in the missing blanks. Once the assignment is complete, you scan the pages using a scanner to your computer and upload the file to Blackboard. If you do not have a scanner, I have a list of free apps that you can download 
that will allow you to use your phone to take pictures and change the pictures to a PDF file. Textbook options. This course uses a custom edition book from Pearson and also uses the MyStatLab code. You are required to purchase a MyStatLab code either bundled with the textbook or by itself. This code will allow you access to the textbook online. So it is up to you if you want to buy a tangible textbook. Most students just buy the code. This code gives you access to the online homework assignments. You can access these assignments from within Blackboard with no additional login. The code also gives you access to the textbook online. This code also gives you access to other online materials such as videos, datasets, formulas, applets, and other things. Once you start completing homework assignments, you will see helpful options like view an example and help me solve this. And finally, the my Stat Lab code gives you access to the student solution manual which has the odd numbers in the textbook worked out. Proctor tests. To ensure academic integrity there are three proctor tests for this course. These tests are worth 70 percent of the final grade. These tests can be taken on campus at the testing center which is main 176 or off campus at a different college or university or a testing center with an approved proctor. The proctor must be an employee of the college or university or an employee of a testing center. If you take the proctor test off campus you and the proctor must complete the proctor agreement form in order for the proctor to be approved. This form can be found in Blackboard and there are no makeup tests in this class. If you need additional help, you can see me on campus during my office hours, during my time at the Success Center, off campus. You can ask me questions in the Ask the Instructor forum on the discussion board. You can send me an email. And another option is to click on Ask My Instructor on the my Stat Lab homework assignments. And finally, you can ask questions in the optional Connect session. The following is what you need for this course. You will need a computer with high speed internet, a printer, a scanner, or a phone that can take pictures, a My Stat Lab code, and the time requirements for this class on average will be between 12 to 15 hours each week. And finally this course was the first course in the college to be Quality Matters certified in June of 2014. Thanks for watching.